Part 2, Calculating the Cost of Your Product 1. Calculate your costs. Will what you want to sell be profitable? Take the time to compare the costs of creating your selling product with what you can sell it for. If your product costs a lot to produce, and the going rates for the product are low, then it will be more difficult to make a profit. As a startup company, calculating your margin is a bit tricky. However, you can get a good idea of what your costs should look like by comparing the margins of the industry averages and competitor companies. For example, you can find out how much your competitor sells their product for, and compare it with your own calculations of how much the product costs to create. 2. Determine your annual overhead costs. This includes costs such as shop rent, phone bills, marketing costs. Let's pretend your annual overhead costs are $15,000 per year. 3. Calculate the number of hours you spend creating the product each year. Let's say you work 40 hours per week, 50 weeks per year, and that you spend half of your work week, that is 50%, creating your product. In this case, let's pretend you bake cakes. Using the equation, number of weeks worked by hours per week by the percentage of time you spend creating the product will tell you how many hours you spend creating the product each year. For this example, that means 50 by 40 by 50% equals 1000 hours spent creating the product. 4. Take your annual overhead expenses and divide that number by the number of hours spent creating the product each year. For example, $15,000 per 1000 hours equals $15 per hour. This is your hourly overhead cost. 5. Decide how much money you would like to make in a year. Be reasonable about this number. This means the money you use for personal living expenses. Let's say you hope to make $20,000 in your first year. To find out your hourly wage, divide your desired salary, $20,000, by the number of hours you spend creating the product, that is 1,000 hours per year. $20,000 per 1,000 equals $20 per hour. 6. Determine how long it takes you to create one product from start to finish. Let's say that to make one cake from start to finished product, you need 1.5 hours. You will likely have to bake a few cakes and use a timer to figure this part out. You will take your hourly wage and multiply it by the amount of time it takes you to create one unit. In this example, that means $20 by 1.5 hours equals $30. 7. Calculate your material costs. For this example, this means how much all the ingredients for one cake cost. If you buy one dozen eggs for $5 to make your cake, but only use two eggs, then your egg cost per cake equals 0.84 cents, $5 per 12 eggs equals 0.42 cents per egg multiplied by two eggs equals 0.84 cents. Do this for each ingredient you use. Let's say you find out that for all the ingredients for one cake will cost $4. 8. Decide on a contingency percentage. In your cake making business, you will likely end up with a percentage of the product you can't sell. Maybe a few cakes are burned, or fall on the floor, or aren't sold in time. Keep this percentage low. For this example, let's say your contingency is 10%. 9. Accurately calculate your final product cost using the numbers from the previous steps. Here is the equation, the final number from step 6. $30, plus the material costs in step 7, $4, by contingency percentage in step 8, 110%, equals $37.40 per cake. 6. In order to calculate the final number correctly, you have to add a 1 in front of the percentage because when you multiply a percentage, you place a decimal in front of the number, so 10% becomes 0 0.10, and when you multiply a decimal number by a whole number you get a smaller number. For the case of calculating product price, you have to add a 1 to make the number bigger, so 10% becomes 110%, which for multiplication purpose becomes 1.10.